Very good morning to you all. The Lord be with you. It is Harvest Festival. I'm uh, sorry that the church isn't quite as it would normally be, obviously, understandably, but thank you very much to uh, Janet Baker, who has brought these gorgeous flowers in and has brought some sheaths in, just to uh, make it feel a little bit uh, harvesty under these unusual times. Thank you. And uh, it is great that we're seeing uh, a bit of collection coming for uh, this all go to um, Suffolk uh, Stone Market Food Bank, and they'll be very, very grateful indeed. I'm going to uh, just go through a couple of notices. So um, coming up this Saturday is the Zoom quiz. Um, there are details, of, um, you can get details from John, who's playing the guitar today. And uh, we're just having small teams for that, and it's just going to be a bit of fun. So if you're able to join us by Zoom on Saturday at 7 o'clock, uh, I think cost is £7 per person. Then on Monday the 12th, we've got our annual church meeting. This should normally take place at the end of April, but obviously due to the current crisis, we had to cancel that. It has to take place now by the end of October, so we're doing that by Zoom. Uh, details will be out this week. Just put it up there. Uh, details will be out this week uh, about that. Um, you can Zoom in, you can telephone in, and uh, we won't keep it going long, but we just have to uh, uh, do this. Uh, bizarrely, that is actually mainly looking at last year. So looking at the year 20, uh, ending the 31st of December 2019. So it's going to be a bit peculiar because so much has happened since then. But uh, if you can join us for the APCM, the annual meeting, that would be great. The other thing you might have noticed is we now have one of these QR codes. If you've got the uh, app that they're talking about on your mobile phone, you don't now have to sign in with, your, uh, with writing. You can just scan the barcode, which is uh, either where you sign up or just on the... Uh, overhead uh, on the flip chart over there. So that'd be useful. And just finally, a reminder that uh, today is an all age service. So there's no Sunday school, but Sunday school will resume at 9 30 on Zoom next week. And if you know anyone who would uh, enjoy that, do let Lisa or I know. Let me pray. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing everyone here to this church building, and we thank you for everybody joining online, and we welcome them. We pray that your spirit will draw close to us and help us in our worship now. Amen. John Evans is going to sing our first song to us. Please feel free to hum behind the masks. It's morning has broken. Please do stand. Pray. 
praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them spring. Fresh from the world Well please do sit down and thank you John Now, always important when we meet together to say sorry to God for all the things that we get wrong. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to bring up the confession prayer. And let's pray this together, shall we? Dear Lord, for the times we have not obeyed your ways, for the times we have forgotten you, for the times we have hurt and offended others, for the times we have not cared about your world, for the times we have not served you as we should, for all these, forgive us. So Lord, we do thank you that we can bring ourselves to you, knowing that you love to forgive us when we say sorry to you. Please forgive us now and help us to know how much you love us. Amen. So, very, very special day today. It's a special festival. Can anybody tell me what it is? Come on, you must know. I'm sure you know, Bryony. You've just been bringing stuff up here. What, what is today? It is something festival. She said it. Well, great. She said it. And uh, I've got a friend with me, and he's dressed up for the occasion. It's Archie. Shall we give Archie a round of applause? Archie, I see you. Good morning, Archie. What on earth are you wearing? You, uh, you look like something out of Doctor Who. Of course I do. I'm a police box. After all, you did say it was TARDIS Festival. TARDIS Festival? It's not TARDIS Festival, it's Harvest Festival. Harvest. Oh, you've made a right waddy of yourself. Look, off you go, see if you can do better. I'm sorry about Alfie, he does get the wrong end of the stick sometimes. But come on, change into something more appropriate, okay? Harvest Festival, okay? What are you doing now? Put something proper on. Well, I just have. I'm wearing my vest. You did say it was Harvest Festival. No, not Harvest Festival. Oh, I am sorry. He's a bit, he's a bit sort of a wally, isn't he? Oh dear, right. Harvest Festival, okay? Gotcha. You One got minute. that? You got that? One minute. Right, okay. Go on. Off you go. How are you doing now? Do you think he's going to get it right this time? What do you think? No, no, you're, 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 look, you're looking... You're not too sure, are you? Come on, Alfie. Heads up! Incoming Wally! What? Another one coming! Mind your head! What, 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 what's going on? You said we're off to our best festival. Our best festival is Glastonbury, and you need your wellies there. We would need wellies at Glastonbury. No, it's not our best festival, as good as Glastonbury might be. No, it is Harvest. <laughs> harvest Festival. Oh, a harvest. Why didn't you say so? That's where we think of God and all the wonderful food he provides us. Exactly, that's when we think of God. It's when we celebrate all that God gives us and we say thank you and we give back to God the best we can. It's not like Glastonbury, although that's a good festival. This is our best 
celebration of God's beautiful creation and giving back to him. Thank you, Alfie. Let's give you a round of applause. So we're just going to think of some of the wonderful things God gives to us. Let's just use the alphabet. We'll begin with the letter A. The letter A, who can think of something that God gives us beginning with the letter A? Anyone? Apples. Apples. Brilliant. What about B? Beetroot. Beetroot. That's, that's one I hadn't, hadn't thought of. Uh, C? Carrots. Carrots. D? Somebody say donuts. Dates, yes. I'm sticking with donuts. Uh, e? Eggs. Eggs. F? Fish. Fish. Um, what comes after F? Somebody tell me what comes after F? G? G? Goat. Goats? Yep. Grapes? Um, G? H? Sorry? Didn't hear that. Howls. Not sure about howls. Haggis. 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 Ooh. We could keep going, but good luck when you. you know, why didn't you at lunchtime just keep going and see if you can get right the way through the alphabet? And when you have problems, when you get to X, I've got a good plan for X. X, just move it like that, and we get the cross of Jesus, which is the best gift of all, because that's how we get eternal life. Lots of things to thank God for. Let's just say a little prayer now. Thank you, God, for all those things we've started to list. Help us to list more at home. You provide wonderful things. This is our best festival because we celebrate your goodness to us. And particularly, thinking of that letter X, we turn it on the side and we see the cross of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. So God obviously loves us a great deal. We're going to sing, well, hum behind your mask, but you can do the actions. I think we're up to uh, God Loves Me. So shall we stand? This is a favorite messy church one. And see if I can still remember the actions after all this time. Shall we stand? That was fantastic. Well done all. Good. We can remember those actions from a long time ago. 
I think uh, it must be time for our Bible story today. Now we're going to hear, we're going to, well, we're going to hear the Bible story once as Andy reads it to us. Now listen very carefully because then we've got a special little video and we're going to watch the Bible story or an American West version of it. And I want you to see if you can recognize in that version the story, all the important bits, and then Ernest is going to come and speak to us. So first of all, I'm going to ask Annie to come and read the Bible story first. reading is from Luke 12 uh, verses 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd said to him, teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, man, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Then he said to them, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man produced a good crop. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And then I will store all my grain and all my goods. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of good things laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be for anyone who stores up things for himself but is not rich towards God. Well, thank you, Annie. So we've heard the Bible story read. We're now going to see the video and just see if you can match up what you've just heard with the video. It's a bit of a crazy video, but I like it.
Это And may I speak in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, it's another wonderful time again. We thank God for his goodness upon our life. Harvest season. That very video we watched is just to reintimate the story, the parable that was read to us. I just want us to take a moment and build into that very animated video and see the connection it has in real life because that video, to an extent, expresses real life to the story that we have just had because I'm going to be asking us a few questions from that very story. Just a second to reflect and connect the video and the story we had. Now, it was equally a harvest time to the rich fool. I didn't call him rich fool. Bible calls him rich fool. And we're going to be teasing out Maybe the question we're going to be asking and answering and the summary of the whole thing will tell us why he is a fool, a fool. Who can tell me what the man decided to do with the bountiful harvest he had? Anybody? He had a very good harvest, but he decided to do something with it. Store it, or uh, he said, I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones to hold all the crops. So in other words, he wanted to store it all up. Then the second question is this. What did the farmer decide to do in the future? The rich fool, what did he decide to do in the future? Pardon? Yes. We saw it from that test. He said, I will eat. We saw how relaxed he was, having a glass of wine or something feeling that all is well with me now, I'm owning the whole world, I'm so rich, I'm so blessed, it's time to relax. Let me eat, drink, and marry. I would like the children to answer this one now. Don't help them. What did God say to the farmer, to the rich fool? Children, you heard it from the story. Okay, Emmanuel that he is a fool. Tonight, you will die. Now, I want to tease out the message this whole story has for us today. Did you think that this man is reasonable? Another question. Is he very reasonable? No. Is the Bible right to have called him a rich fool? Yes, Bible is right to have called him a rich fool. Why do you think so? Tell me. Emmanuel, thank you so much. He said he stored everything to himself. He wasn't concerned about others. That's being greedy and selfish. And if we remember, if we followed that Bible reading very well, there was a story before that very parable. Jesus was asked to decide between two brothers. And that brought to the place Jesus told them, I am not a judge over you. 
that a man's life is not determined, is not being uh, counted by what position he has got. And he warned them not to be greedy. So this man was a greedy man. Are we supposed to be greedy in life? The message is that we are not called to be greedy. We are called to be concerned about others. We are called to share from the lot we have got. We be mindful of others who have got nothing. Important thing to learn again. We should always put God first in our lives. We should always put God first in our life. If you notice one thing about the man, it's all about I, I, I. And he never counted the source of all those blessings. Who made his land to yield good fruit? He never counted that. He was just full of himself. All things that we have got, Peter showed us that. Apple, mango, whatever you might think of. If God did not lay hand on it, it will not yield very well. And the first thing he would have done is to be thankful to God as we are here today to thank God for the life he has given to us for all the blessings that he has given to us in life. In a few minutes, we're going to be singing a hymn that tells us that everything we have got in life comes from God. I will just sum up by reading the chorus in that very hymn. It says, all good things around us are sent from heaven above. Then he calls us to do what? Then thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord for all of his love. So as we celebrate harvest this year, despite whatever challenges that we are facing, God has been so great, gracious to us. He has preserved us. He has been feeding us. He has been looking after us. It is a time to thank God. And in thanking God and loving God, we should equally remember those who doesn't have. So let us always be mindful of people who don't have. Let us not store things to ourselves because one day we will leave it and go. And all those things we stored in life doesn't count. What count? How did we live our life? How did we use it to be a blessing to others? When we do that, it shows, it's an expression that we are counting God first in our life because the next neighbor we see and express the love of God to is that same God we are doing good work to. If you don't have anything to give, always hold people who don't have a plate of food in, on their table. Hold them in prayer and ask God to preserve and provide for them. And when you can, share what you have with the needy. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, that we have learned something from this parable. You've reminded us the need to put you first. Because you died at the cross of Calvary, you gave your life for us. And out of that love, you expect us to express that thanksgiving to you and express the love to other people who don't have things to eat, to share from the abundance of what you have given to us. Help us to live up to this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Ernest. Uh, I think it's very appropriate now to sing the following song. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Let's be rich to God first and trust him to provide what we need. Shall we stand?
shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. John, shall we uh, sit and uh, the hall is going to lead us in prayer now. Let us pray. Dear God, We thank you for all the gifts of fruit and vegetables you give to us at harvest time. For the bread and cereals on our table each day and for all the other good things we have to eat. Help those who are less fortunate. Bless all our gifts going to the Stowmarket Food Bank. Support the volunteers there and the people in our country and our world who are working to keep everyone fed. Feed us spiritually. Fill our hearts and minds with a Christ-centered love and enable us to do your work here in Elmswell. We pray for the leaders of Great Britain, for Boris Johnson and his colleagues. We pray for the leaders of other places, as they guide their countries through this pandemic. Give them wisdom and guide them to make good decisions which will help and benefit those that need the most support. Thank you for keeping us all safe this week. Thank you for allowing us to meet here and online. Finally, we pray for all the people who need your healing, your love, and your support. We think of them all now and lift their names silently to you. Please be with them and let them know that they are loved, 
chosen and accepted by you. Amen. We're going to close with the Lord's Prayer. If you want to stand and do some actions, and if you're at home, please do stand as well for the actions. Of course, the actions are optional. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Fantastic. Well, Ernest has already told us how we're going to finish the service. We're going to finish by singing, We Plough the Fields and Scatter the Good Seed on the Land. coming this morning and it's been great to gather together as God's people. Shall we pray? Father God, who you are an awesome God, absolutely amazing. Everything that we have comes from you. We thank you, Lord, for all the things we've already thought of that we can uh, 
receive with thankfulness. Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, through whom we are forgiven our sins and have eternal life. Help us to be generous in return, generous to one another, generous to the poor, generous to people struggling at this time as the body of Christ. May we look out for each other in the body and those beyond. And may we know your blessing now. So may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us this harvest time and forevermore. Amen. Please do sit. Sing. It helps defeat his enemies. So let's join in and sing.